Hello, welcome everybody. My name is Brianna Riddock and I'm here with you guys on the My Recipes Facebook Live. Today I will be demonstrating how to make pan seared scallops with a mustard caper sauce. Um, scallops are so easy to make and they're usually intimidating to home cooks, but I'm here to show you and tell you you can do it at ease at home whenever you want to. So to get started, I have our fresh scallops. Now when you're buying scallops in the grocery store, you want to keep in mind to look at the size. So these are U10 scallops and the way that the size goes is U means under and 10. So that means you get about 10 scallops per pound. So, and when you're starting, you want to make sure that your scallops are going to be nice and dry. So I have them on this um, paper napkin and to clean them, it's just you run it under some cold water for a few seconds just to get off any extra residue from when you got them from the grocery store. And just easily, I'm going to season them with a little bit of salt and fresh cracked pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat on for my pan. So let's turn this up. All right, and I'm going to gently just season my scallops with a little bit of kosher salt. And I'm going to also give them a good heaping of fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to turn them over and do the same thing. And this is like, this is literally, this is all the seasoning that I'm going to put because our sauce is going to bring a lot of flavor in. And let me flip these over. And while our oil is getting hot, our caper, our mustard caper sauce is really easy and it's really fresh and vibrant for the summer. So capers um, are gonna pull in a lot of the salt. So as you'll see, I'm not gonna be using like a lot of additional salt. Um, the mustard, I'm using whole grain mustard because I like the texture and I think it's gonna um, bring a lot more character to the sauce along with the along with the capers. And of course, you know, I got to garlic it up. So I got like four whole garlic cloves that I'm going to mince to put in there. And I'm going to finish it off with some orzo pasta. And just to serve it, just so you guys can see how you can make it a full meal. But the recipe is mostly about the scallops. So let's go on over to the stove. I have um, a nonstick skillet uh, getting ready heated. You want to you want the temperature to be moderately hot, like medium to medium high, because the scallops literally going to take like two minutes on each side to get that beautiful golden sear. And I'm also going to get the heat going for. Um, oh wait, this one's not working. Get the heat going for. Oh, wrong one. Get the heat going for my scallops or for my sauce as well. So I'm going to put about one and a half teaspoons to two teaspoons of oil in my pot. And as you can see, it's nice and hot and smoky. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add my scallops. So I'm probably just going to do a few at a time. I don't want to overcrowd the pot because, I mean, the point is to get this really beautiful golden sear on them. So let me go. And next, I'm going to add these scallops. And I already have my or orzo pasta boiling. So by the time we finish the scallops, they'll be ready pull it off the stove for our sauce. And I'm going to tell you, this is such a great summertime meal. I'm going to do one more, probably about, let's do one more on here. And okay, so while um, those few scallops are searing up, I'm going to go back and start chopping up my garlic for our sauce. So like I said, I just have four garlic cloves. I'm just going to mince really quickly. And as you can see, there's not a lot of ingredients. Like the ingredients bring all the flavor. So you only need a few key ingredients to kind of make this. And I just want to reiterate that this is such an approachable way um, to do scallops, just in case you were, you were not too sure about them. But I think this is just a great way. So I'm going to mince up my garlic a little bit more. Yes. That's a great question. So like for scallops, I wouldn't necessarily make it for a big crowd because they are they are a little bit on the pricey side. Um, but I would say 
probably about like two to three if you're getting the U10 scallops, like the big ones. Now, if you're getting the smaller scallops, which um, tend to be like the bay scallops, you'll probably need like five to six because they're much smaller than, um, than the ones that I'm working with right now. So I'm chopping up my garlic, and I can see there's like a beautiful sear crust starting to form on our scallops. So I'm going to pop back over there to flip them over. And then I'm also going to get the stove started for um, my next one. Let's see. All right. So I'm getting my heat started for my, my sauce. All right. Wow. You guys see that? Beautiful sear. Yes. So just to make sure you guys can see that over here. And our orzo is almost done, so I'm actually going to turn the heat off in a little bit for that. Wow, this is so beautiful. So next I'm going to put in a little bit of oil over here for my to start my sauce. All right. Toss that around. And like, look, we're almost done with the scallops. So I'm just going to mince this just a little bit more. And the great thing about this, I already popped open a bottle of wine, so you know, you use your wine for your cooking, and if you want to sip while you're cooking at the same time, this is totally a recipe that you can do that for, so, you know, by all means, sip and cook. I mean, I just feel like that sounds like a great thing to do. <laughs> yes. So, is the, is the sizing, so, base scallops are generally, so, base scallops are generally, um, named for the smaller sizing. So those could be like, there's another naming like the way that shrimp is. So it might be like 20 slash 30. That means you're going to get 20 to 30 scallops um, per pound. So that's why they're a lot smaller. So you would generally like also um, be, there'll be more of them. All right. So we're going to get our garlic. We're, we don't want the sauce to be like too, we still want it to be like a nice color, so I don't want the garlic to burn. So we're just going to get like a nice, just a nice like saute them. Um, now I'm going to start pulling off my scallops and I have a little pan here. So look how beautiful that is. I might put a little bit more on there to fry while we're moving on to our sauce. And the sauce is basically like a simple like wine reduction. All right. So we have those over here resting. Now, let me get my spoon, stir up these beautiful garlic. And what I was thinking, I was like, oh, so if I'm going to serve it with this orzo, like how can I just amp it up a little bit? So I'm just going to put some cherry tomatoes, I'm going to mix it in with the orzo. So since this pot is already hot, I'm just going to leave them whole, kind of like let them get some color. They'll, some of them might burst, some of them will still be whole, but it'll kind of give a lot more texture to this dish. So in goes those tomatoes. And I'm literally just going to let them kind of do their thing over here. I don't really have to do too much, and you'll see like they're going to get some nice, nice color on them. All right, so now we're going to add our one cup of wine because, as you can see, our garlic is searing. And if you want to make this like a one-stop shop, you can also start the sauce when you take out the garlic. I mean, when you take out the scallops, and you can do the sauce in the pot at the same time instead of doing them separately. So I'm going to let that. That's going to bring. I'm going to bring this up to heat a little bit more. And of course, we have our capers. Again, capers are going to bring like texture. It's going to bring some salt. So you're not going to need to add a lot of additional salt. So if you do, that would be strictly up to you and strictly up to taste. So, and these are drained capers. So they come in like some kind of like vinegar solution. So you just kind of take them out and let them drain a little bit. And we also have um, one tablespoon of whole grain mustard. I'm going to put that in there. And as you see, our tomatoes have this beautiful color and it's just I mean it's just really simple I'm not gonna do anything to them but to let them and our or orzo is done so I'm just gonna um, actually I might reserve just gonna drain it over here 
And then we'll come back to those in a little bit. Let me turn that stove off. Get my spoon back. So we want this to reduce just a little bit. So while that is cranking, we are going to add some lemon juice and lemon zest. Again, the lemon juice and lemon zest is just going to add a whole nother level of um, flavor and variety to this sauce. It's kind of like Mediterranean if you think about it. We're using like lots of like oils, olive oil, the, the um, wine, and the capers. So I'm going to, if you don't have a microplane, I highly suggest you get one. Like it just changes your life. But it allows you to zest the lemon really easily. So I'm going to zest in about a half a tablespoon or half a teaspoon. So I'm just going to do that right into, right into our little sauce. I think that should be it. All right, yep. So as you can see, like this is getting whoop, nice and bubbly. I'm still gonna let that reduce a little bit more. Our tomatoes, getting some good char on them, some good color. Uh-oh, let's see, let me turn this stove off. All right, we're gonna get back over here to our cutting board. I'm just gonna cut this in half. And now I'm going to use the, um, our lemon zester, our, our lemon juicer, to juice in about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And that should be roughly half of a, half of a lemon. All right. So we're still letting those go. Our tomatoes are looking beautiful. Our sauce is cooking. Our scallops are seared. Our orzo is over here. Look, dinner is almost done. And I did it right in front of you guys, right here. So the last touch of the recipe is some fresh um, Italian parsley. I like these because I feel like it just gives like a nice like little fresh taste to it. I'm gonna cut the ends off. We only need about like a tablespoon. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon in our sauce. I'm also gonna toss in a tablespoon with the orzo just to give it a little bit more color. So I'm just gonna roughly chop just enough um, parsley for, like I said, just enough parsley for the sauce and also for the orzo. I think that should be good. So give it a rough chop. And we're gonna, um, I'm gonna put it in at the end because the most important thing, you still want it to be, have like a little bit of bite. You don't want to overcook it or anything like that. Okay. All right. So just gonna chop this up a little bit more. And I think I feel good about everything that's going on right here. How do you guys feel? I hope this looks like an approachable recipe that you definitely want to try at home. She's fixing my mic. All right. So I'm also going to um, start tossing the orzo because the tomatoes look like they're done. I think it has like a nice color on them. I'm gonna give the sauce like maybe like two more minutes. And then of course you have to finish everything with some butter. So I'm gonna sauce, let it simmer a little bit more, and the butter is gonna bring in just just a tinge of richness. That's all we need, not too much. All right. Yes. Yeah, so it's so lemony in here, and I think this is such a fresh dish. And um, depending on what kind of wine you're gonna get, you'll bring in those flavor notes from the wine as well. So I'm doing a Sauvignon Blanc. So you want to do something dry. So if you want something more of like the citrusy side or even a white wine that has like some mineral flavors in there, you can kind of play with the flavor a little bit more depending on the wine that you choose. So I have our orzo over here. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm gently just going to pop that in there. And I'm also just going to take one of the tablespoons of the parsley that I just chopped. And I'm just gonna gently mix that in here. So you see like how the tomatoes are starting to burst open, gives it a lot of fresh color. And this is just an example of what you can serve with the, with the, with the scallops and the sauce. So you can definitely do it with like mashed potatoes, roasted potatoes, rice, if you wanna do some farro or any kind of other grain or other kind of carb. All right, our last touch is this butter. Ooh, this thing is getting hot over here. So 
And you see, like, this is a loose sauce, so it's not, like, it's not extra, um, it's not going to be extra creamy. It's not going to be, like, too heavy. So you can definitely make this meal, eat it, and not feel like it's just like, oh, my gosh, I just ate so much food. Like, no, it's light, it's beautiful, it's rich. It still has everything that you need. And like I said, if you want to, you'll taste this, see how, see how you'll like the salt um, in there. But I don't think you'll need that much more. So the last thing is I'm just going to put in our chopped parsley. So I want it to just cook like ever so soft. So I'm going to just stir that in just for a few more little times. And then that's it. I'm just going to add the scallops back just so they can kind of like absorb a little bit of the sauce. But again, the scallops are already cooked, so I'm not, I don't want to overcook them. I just want them to be in here for like less than a minute. Just to like kind of absorb some of this nice sauce in here. And again, if you want your sauce to be just a tad bit thicker, you can let it boil a little bit more. You can let it simmer down and reduce. And of course, like the alcohol will kind of cook out as well. All right, look how beautiful this is. We are so done. I have this beautiful bowl. I'm going to plate our orzo with these like kind of like charred whole tomatoes. Like I didn't cut them, I didn't chop them. Like that's all you need it to do. I think that should be beautiful. All right, that's just enough. And then we're going to get our beautiful seared scallops. All right, beautiful seared scallops. Just gonna top them on here. And I hope you guys see how beautiful and easy it is just to make such a fresh, just vibrant dish. I think three should be about enough. And I'm actually gonna spoon a little bit, let me get this over here, just a little bit of the additional sauce on here. Because all the flavor, you have your capers in here, your salt, the whole grain mustard also brings a little bit of salt in here. And that is it, guys. Let me make sure I taste this. Like, how beautiful is that? I'm going to move this over here. I'm just going to, actually, I just want to garnish this a little bit more. So let me get, um, actually, yes, so... I'm gonna fresh um, cut a fresh lemon just in the middle. Get like some nice little whole beautiful slices in here. All right, slice that up. And then I'm also just gonna get some whole parsley, kind of just break that up and kind of dress that a little bit. Whoop, whoop. And here you guys go. Actually, I need to make sure I taste this because this just looks so divine. I'm just going to pop this whole scallop in my mouth. Let's hope. Mmm. <laughs> I think I took too big of a bite. <laughs> it is so great. Like, I, I think this came out beautiful. Like I said, it's perfectly balanced. I didn't need to add any additional salt, but if you want to add a little bit more, go ahead, pinch it and pour it all over there. Thank you guys for joining me for our My Recipes Facebook Live. Hope to see you soon again.